one of those super impulsive kind of a people. Um, I'm making a video because this is what I do. I put together that's what's a lot And this is some leftover. As you can see, this is lobster mac and cheese. Now, my kids like to eat crap like super quick banquet damn oh look my hair excuse my language jesus christ i didn't mean to say that <laughs> my kids like to eat um popeyes and little stuff like that and i'm hungry and i know my husband be home for work soon and i like to incorporate the old meal with the new meal because leftovers gonna get eight in my house and if i bought two humongous lobster tails and it cost me like $47 for two of them. And I made this lobster mac and cheese because I love lobster mac and cheese. But I made it with spinach this time. So I'm going to give you the recipe. And yes, I said it's leftovers. But who the hell cares? So again, this is my tilapia. I made it. I thought it out all day. And um, it's pretty. The season is pretty. So I thought out three pieces of tilapia and I used some lemon juice I I'm recording thank you yes. I used some lemon juice I used some dill um dill let me just show you because this is ridiculous I used dill weed as you can see I went to Fresh Market, which is like whole food, and I used the anything spice rub. And I also used this from Fresh Market, citrus, crack, pepper, and seafood seasoning. So right now, as you can see, my fish is acting a dang full. It has a little oil in there, so it can give me some color. I need some color, like bam, give me some color. So anyway, this is what I'm about to do with this. I'm gonna turn my stove on to about five. You don't want to overcook it because I made this like two days ago. So I'm gonna add some heavy whipping cream to it to get it back soft and beautiful. I was gonna add some more cheese, but you really don't want no more cheese in there because it's extra cheese in my lobster macaroni and cheese. I used two jumbo pieces of lobster and they had the skin still on them. I'll tell you, I was freaking grossed out. As you can see, I just added the heavy with the cream. This is probably a scent. Probably heavy with the cream. And I added to that. So once it starts getting hot and the cheese all starts to melt all up in there, then you'll be able to. Um, Start stirring it in the wet cream. I don't need to add no more butter. It's cooking butter. Like here's a piece of a lobster right there. Yeah. Mixed up with the cheese. What is a hit? Anyway, I'm fixing the fire as you can see. Now I'm going to flip it over. I want all of my fish to get a little brown protein on it. I really just trying to fry and I really don't want fried fish. I really just want fish with good texture, good flavor. So, my fish is pretty much done. So, I'm going to put my fish on a plate. As you can see, I'm going to put my fish on a plate to get my husband his dinner ready. So, when he gets home, I don't have to cook it. I could eat now, I could wait, I really don't know. Oh, I'm supposed to give me the recipe to my lobster mac and cheese, so. Okay, I started with some regular elbow macaroni. Let's turn it off. It's popping and sizzling, as you can see. I 
I tore up my piece of fish because I don't care. I'm going to eat my fish regardless. It don't have to be pretty. Just for me to eat it. So, fish is fish. As long as it's hot and good, I'm going to eat it. So, I boil some um, regular elbow macaroni and cheese. And um, once the macaroni and cheese is done boiling, I use some heavy whipping cream. I make a root sauce. I don't. I don't use. Um, let me see. I don't put my cheese on top of my macaroni and then just put it in a um uh, in a thing to cook. To me, to me, that's kind of like stupid. I, hold on, I gotta put this in the sink and get some water on it. What I do is I make a root sauce. Like they do in New Orleans when they making gumbo and stuff, they make it real. So I put some heavy whipping cream in an um, pot and I use a half a stick of butter. And I let those melt together. Let the butter melt in there. And then I add shredded cheese on like Monterey Jack, Monterey Jack and Kobe. And um, I use some shredded Parmesan cheese sometimes. It kind of depends on how I'm feeling. I use different types of cheeses, but this particular time I had Monterey Jack and Kobe and some cheddar, sharp cheddar. And I melted it all together in a pot on a slow simmer, like on two. And what I did was, once it became a cheese sauce, I went ahead and um, poured it on top of the macaroni and cheese in a pot and I put it in an oven in a, one of those glass bake safe um as you can see here's my fish I didn't flip it back over because it started breaking but you know I don't like fried fish I like baked fish so I just boiled simmer on the stove and cook this one because I just wanted some wonderful fish so it, because this is starting to cook so slow, I'm gonna take my spoon. Yeah, so once it starts getting hot, the cheese is gonna melt again. And once the cheese is melt, it's gonna be on the side. They used to have the liquid cream and the leftover on the cheese. But I'm gonna keep going to the other side and throw it in the side. It kind of makes a lot of liquid cheese. So, it'll make it dry out. So, right now, This went on to get hot so I could taste the cheese, so I kind of turned it So, what I'm going to do is speed up the process because it's taking so dang long. I'm going to I'm going to eat. I ain't going to wait on my husband. I guess I might be a little wrong for that, but I'm going to show you my fish again. Oh, I'm all the way upside down. Lord, forgive me. Help me, Lord. There it go with the deal on it. The little oil, just a little canola oil, just a titchy bit in the seasoning. And that's all you gotta do. Thaw your fish out. And at a time, I thaw man for about six hours. I'm, just because I took it out earlier, just so it could just be ready. I wanted no brush because I knew I had other stuff to do. So, I hit him out and started. Bubble up. Come on. Get the bubble so mama can work her man. I'm not always a leftover person. But when you pay $50 for some lobster, honey, you ain't gonna let no lobster go to waste at all. It's starting to smell good, too. See, it has getting soft and the cheese is starting to melt a little bit. So all I got to do is kind of like, that's a big old piece of lobster right there under that macaroni. It's hard to break it. So I'm going to, I'm sure you can hear it bubbling. So that's pretty much all I want to show you. But yeah, 
my leftover mac and cheese. All you need is some heavy whipping cream. Let that cheese melt back up, baby. And stir it all back up and bam. Here you go. Luscious, love and delicious. See it, Bobby? It's Bobby. It's gonna be delicious. So, I'm the mother that has to throw meals together sometime in last minute. And you don't always have a lot of time to cook no meals, so I'll be starting to update and post different quick meals that I made. But I always add your old leftovers. Add old leftovers a day or two or three ago with something new. Get a little twist, a little kick. Kids be happy. Like, since my kids already ate, bag of cheese is wrong. Got some left over. It's not rose. By the time I put it on the plate, it's gonna be delish. Thank you for watching. I know I've just been rambling, but again, I'm new to this, so be patient with me. Be blessed. Yeah, y'all thought I was gone, but I decided to come back and show y'all how wonderful the macaroni and cheese was, man. Let me turn this down. Look at it. It's nice and creamy. Yeah, y'all thought it was cold. Y'all thought it was crazy. But y'all was like, what the hell she doing? I don't know what she thinks she'll cook. But I'm doing what I'm talking about. You know, you learn as a kid how to make do with what you got when you kind of poor and you don't have everything. I knew to add some heavy whipped cream, turn up the heat, my cheese will come out back. And honey, that looks delish, delish, delish. Got some lobster pieces rolling around up there. It's all kind of the same color at this point. If y'all want me digging my hand next, then y'all gonna be talking to me. But, you can see it on the cheese, it's nothing. That's our color, got some lobster in there. Got some spinach. It's gonna be good. I can't wait for you. Stop. Now I can go. I just want y'all to see. I wasn't being full. My stuff turned back into deliciousness. Like I said, it was night. Yeah, y'all thought I was gone. But I decided to come back and show y'all how wonderful the macaroni and cheese look like. Let me turn this down. Look at it. It's nice and creamy. Yeah, y'all thought it was fun. Y'all thought it looked crazy. But y'all was like, what the hell she doing? I don't know what she thinks she'll cook. I know what I'm talking about. When you learn, as a kid, how to make do with what you got when you kind of poor and you don't have everything. I knew to add some heavy whipped cream, turn up the heat, my cheese will come out back. And honey, that looks delish, delish, delish. Got some lobster pieces rolling around up in there. It's all kind of the same color at this point. If y'all want me digging my hand next, then y'all gonna be talking about me. But, here it says, my cheese is nothing. That's our cross, got some lobster in there. And some spinach. Sounds good. I can't wait to eat. Stop. Now I can go. I just want y'all to see. I wasn't being a fool. My stuff turned back into deliciousness. Like I said it was.